so in this video uh, i am going to talk about the association or relations uh, when it comes to mongodb how we have to think about the relations between the documents so in other ways uh, if it comes to uh, sql databases how one should uh, think uh, while modeling their data using the tables okay so uh, in sql uh, we used to think in terms of uh, tables and how one should think when it comes to mongodb so i'm going to explain you uh, the associations uh, that might be helpful uh, in your uh, project so uh, i'm going to explain with example uh, with the help of uh, this famous odm uh, you might have uh, aware of that one uh, mongoose so it's a famous odm library so odm refers to uh, object uh, document mapping uh, so it is similar to orm if you're not familiar with orm and odm term uh, just uh, google it and you will find it ORM refers to object relational mapping. It's familiar in SQL databases, ODM, document uh, based uh, you know, databases, uh, or no, no SQL databases. Okay. I'm not going to go, go in detail about the basics about these things. Basically, uh, these ORM or ODMs um, uh, provide a great, uh, you know, abstraction uh, to the databases and uh, provides a OOPS way of writing the queries, or class way of writing the queries using objects. So, so that you can't, uh, you don't need to write uh, the raw SQL or raw MongoDB queries, okay? So, that's a uh, uh, quick, uh, you know, summary of what I'm going to explain in this video. Uh, let's start with uh, relation or associations and how one should think uh, while designing their uh, documents or uh, tables, let's say, okay? So, let's call it as documents or collections uh, because uh, it's a Mongo database. So let's take a uh, one to one, let's take first a one to one relation, okay. So uh, and this is one of the most uh, widely used uh, relation when you are designing your, uh, you know, uh, database, okay. So let's take uh, like we have a user table uh, and we have account table, uh, as in the user will have only one account, okay, in the bank or something, in some domain, okay. So there exists a one-to-one -one relation between the accounts, okay. Uh, assuming that system, we have a criteria like user will only hold one account, okay. So as you see, uh, we are going to store the user ID in this account table. Uh, this user uh, here refers to a user table and here it refers to account table. Uh, so here user ID, uh, it's a foreign key to the account and which is a primary key to the user. So in terms of uh, SQL databases, so here uh, when it comes to document, it's nothing but a user uh, uh, document collection and it's uh, account collection. Uh, so this uh, uh, just acts as a key uh, which would hold uh, a reference uh, or ID of this user. Okay, so let's say it just refers to this documents instead of a foreign key. Uh, okay, in Mongo's. So. Uh, this is uh, one of the way of uh, designing the one-to-one uh, -one relation. You might be aware, like, uh, like why can't we store uh, everything in one document? Let's say user, user will have a uh, ID, okay, name, then uh, address, and uh, account, okay, uh, account. Uh, in the this the same document itself, uh, account will have its own attributes and. So uh, it is okay like uh, if you are uh, uh, sure in your project that uh, there will be only few keys that are going to be present in a document, okay? Like account, let's say, uh, let's say like if this uh, document grows, uh, uh, when there is a uh, document or a collection like a user uh, in a project, it will have a very large number of uh, keys or columns. Uh, based on my experience so you just don't need to store all those things uh, in a single document and it will also you know uh, not a good performance uh, it will not provide you a good performance uh, if it is a big document user will have one account user will have uh, many commands and user will have something else and that will store here go and so on so on so it's not a good way of storing uh, a uh, good way of storing or in other words a scalable scalable way of storing the documents so uh, let's store a uh, similar to uh, uh, 
SQL databases. But if you are uh, very sure that uh, there are only few number of uh, such uh, columns or keys that is going to exist in your documents, uh, just store it in account. No need to uh, make a separate uh, document and store it there and reference it from using a primary key. Okay. So uh, it is also which I told like uh, separating in a separate document is called a subset uh, pattern. Uh, if you just uh, go here and uh, uh, MongoDB uh, subset uh, pattern uh, it's clearly mentioned like uh, even they same uh, they say the same thing which I just told uh, I referred this is official documentation you just go through this these things you will find that uh, what is the disadvantage of storing uh, everything in a single document okay so uh, in tables like user which is widely used which will uh, it is uh, which should be very flexible to add new columns you should not store uh, such things in a single document. So let's separate it into a separate uh, collection and reference it using this one. So uh, this is one thing how you should think. And so like uh, uh, let's take a mongoose example uh, of this one. So I also uh, prepared uh, already the mongoose query so that uh, I'm not going to take much time of yours or this time of yours. So uh, Okay, this is some small router just for explaining over guys. Uh, if you are uh, uh, familiar with uh, how Mongoose works, that's fine. Or if not, I just I will quickly uh, tell you uh, to understand uh, these uh, <laughs> uh, Mongoose statements. Okay, so there will be a schemas in Mongoose. Okay, let's take account schema here. You define a uh, uh, what, what are the column values or what are the keys and uh, their data types and uh, which document they refer okay here let's uh, here we have a count schema which refers to user okay because uh, here uh, account belongs to a user so here we store this user uh, ID and uh, uh, another one is user schema so here, as I say, the schema is nothing but a data type of a column and where it refers and what it is type and these things. Okay, uh, this is a user schema and uh, you can define like this. Okay, just go through the documentation, you will find it. I'm not uh, going to uh, go in detail about schemas. My objective is to learn association, how one should think when they're modeling the data in MongoDB. Okay, that is the objective. So uh, here we have schemas and we model those schemas here. Uh, okay, just you, we are going to use those other schema here and we just export a model, okay, which is going to create a model instance for you in object uh, like this. Okay, like what? Like this, okay. So here we are going to create an uh, account object and here we are going to create an user object. Okay, these are the models which we, uh, created using schemas just I showed to you and let's say it has uh, some columns like account number and account type and uh, we have this user model first name and account okay uh, <coughs> so here uh, we are uh, storing this account uh, which is account ID uh, I said like one to one relationship exists uh, between this uh, user and account so we have to store this account ID in the user model to access a uh, uh, document uh, account document this is one of the like um, good way of uh, storing this account ID if you want to access account using the user model and vice versa if you want to access a user stored in a particular account you need to store a user ID in the account document okay please make sure like you store the foreign keys uh, in both the documents to access it from both the ways okay I repeat it again please store the foreign keys in both the documents in order to access it from both ways in mongoose okay so uh, so we have these models so we are going to access uh, uh, sorry we are going to uh, assign this user id to account as i said like uh, we created account object we just uh, associated uh, this user with account using this uh, key and we just again doing vice versa we associate uh, user ID in account because uh, we are not sure in projects like uh, we might uh, need to access user from account uh, document as well 
and we might need to access account from user as well so it's better like we store the ids uh, in both the uh, thing or uh, you have to write uh, so many queries to get the documents if you store it in a uh, one table so mongoose provides a little advantage uh, uh, which i'm going to explain you later so let's store uh, these keys and let's uh, await for the save of this document so we save the both uh, document and uh, we are going to uh, query it again so uh, mongoose provides uh, you know uh, good way of uh, you know querying the document uh, there is a, a concept called populate queries so uh, what it does is uh, interestingly like uh, if you uh, query account model for example this one this is just account number i just put it uh, above here so uh, it will find the account uh, document and it is going to populate a user associated with that account okay if and only if if you have given this user id in the account document that's a main important thing so it just populates uh, a user document when it finds and then uh, it will just going to give the account object which has that user data okay as you see if i access account object optional dot user dot first name then it is going to give you the user's first name okay okay this is uh, how uh, we are going to access uh, the one to one documents so let's see like just quickly run this this is some index route i'm just going to run it so let's see like uh, uh, what it sent and uh, let's say in response and we get some first name so uh, it's restarting i just save this make it made a change so let's hit from local log 3005 okay local log 3005 girish we got there so basically i'm hitting a road within the road i'm doing this uh, all this so that you can easily understand we got this username first uh, which is a uh, girish so let's see how it is stored in the mongodb let's quickly start mongo um okay let's switch db let's use uh, um, uh, db i'm using the db uh, pm okay uh, then db dot user dot find uh, let's i'm not going to in detail with how we can now write the mongoose queries in this document in this video sorry uh, db dot uh, next is uh, what is accounts dot find so see here uh, previously we had <laughs> so many accounts i think executed these things so we have these as well if you observe we are uh, having a account uh, with the object id this one find this one and this is basically a primary key of uh, one of the accounts okay and uh, here we are going to store this user here okay uh, user id here uh, which refers to if you see uh, it's just nothing but this one this primary key we are storing it here and this foreign key to the user table just putting it here okay so that's it this is one to one so you don't need to worry uh, too much it's a simple relation and uh, you might uh, some mostly and uh, widely uh, used one of the relation in our project let's go to uh, our uh, next uh, relation 